So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to set up your camera for a macro coupling setup. So with macro coupling, the basic concept is merging two lenses face to face. And the magnification, the resulting magnification will be the lens closest to the camera divided by the lens furthest away. So in this case, if we mount it with this 1.5 on the camera and then mount it face to face with this 35, one, 105 divided by 35 is three. So three times magnification if you use these two lenses in particular. So here's a 105 and a 50. So if you mount those face to face like that, 105 on this side and 50 on this side, then that would be about, you know, a, roughly a two times magnification. 105 divided by 50. Um, to focus, basically your focus point is going to be the distance that this lens actually focuses to the image sensor. So your focus is going to be um, from the flange of the, of the lens. Uh, Nikon lenses are about 45 millimeters, so it's going to be about 45 millimeters from this surface right here. So, you know, very close to the lens. So to start with, uh, you'd want to mount a micro positioning plate to your camera. The way these work, they have a lock here, so you'd unlock it. To mount it, you want to move this all the way to the sides so that you have access to the bottom, and you want to get this centered up on the appropriate spot to balance your system. And then once you have that tightened up, you probably want to start you know, in the center, right? You have indicator marks here. You would have this unlocked. This is for quick motion to unlock it, right? So whenever it's down, it's fairly secure. And then with this threaded rod that goes through here, you could turn it at either end to index. So you can watch that index the plate or the camera one way or the other. And when you're done, you just want to tighten that up. So that would be for focusing. You would use the micro positioning plate. The, the lenses have to be set, or should be set at least, to the infinity. Each of, all these lenses are going to have infinity symbols. Focus the infinity. And basically you would start... So in this case, a lot of times the, the lens caps have the, the size of the lens on the, on the inside bottom side of the lens cap. So in this case, this lens is a 77 millimeter. This one is a 72. So if you have, if you have filters of some sort, you can take those off. Or you don't want to be touching the, the front face, but you want to get those off. And you're going to be using, you're going to start with a macro coupling ring. So in this case, I have a 77 and a 77 millimeter macro coupling ring. So this lens is a 77. So I'm just going to thread that right on this lens. I'm just going to go snug. It doesn't have to be tight. Don't tighten it down because there's a very good chance you could not get it apart. <clears throat> just want to be just decently snug. So this lens here is a 72. So in that case, we have a 72 to 77 step up ring. And these rings are going to be labeled on the side. So there's threads on one side. Just going to thread the appropriate one trying to match up the threads. They're very fine, so you just gotta be gentle with them. If they don't if they don't want to go smoothly, back it out. There we go. And then just just slightly snug. Now this has the 77 millimeter threads on it, so you can go right to that 
coupling ring. Again, just going to go until it's nice and just slightly slug, snug. Okay, and again, you want to make sure your lenses are set to infinity. Um, if you have to, get some tape and put some masking tape on the focusing ring so it doesn't move. And you may not have enough light to deal with uh, a lot in the first place. So if you have the lenses on the maximum you know, opening, the, the, the lowest F number, so in this case this is a 1.4, this is an F2. So you just 1.4, F2, you know, just stop down. If you're going to stop down, I would stop down sequentially, but your light, your available light that goes through is going to be dictated by the highest F number. So in this case, F2.8 over here, F2, so this would be dictated you know, by the F2.8. So again, taking the rear lens cap off, there's an indicator mark. Typically it's a white line or whatever that's going to indicate where your aperture and your focus is. And that white line is gonna match up. In this case, we have a red dot right there. And then it's a slight counterclockwise turn. You hear it click into place. And don't forget to take the lens cap, the rear lens cap off on the, on your second, on your second lens. So again, your focus is going to be, with Nikon lenses, it's going to be about 45 millimeters from this, this flange, mounting flange. So not that far away. <clears throat> and in this case, we have a 105 and a 35 millimeter lens. So the magnification is 105 divided by 35. So approximately three times magnification. I say approximately because sometimes these lenses won't be an exact 105 millimeter objective. It might be a fraction of that or, or very close to. So keep that in mind. But uh, that's basically how that's set up. And uh, you know, changing magnification, you would be changing the ratio of lenses here. So in this case, we just used a 77 millimeter um, a lens with a 77 millimeter thread. If you have to use a lens that's not as large as your macro coupling ring, I'm going to take these apart. So I'm going to hold the rings and turn the lens out, right? And then I just break it down or I turn the next one out. This whole thing is coming out together. Gentle. Sometimes you have to grab the inside of one with a step up ring. And in this case, let's say if we use you know, this um, 50 millimeter, sometimes you have to keep in mind, like this lens right here is very wide, but there's you know a section of the lens that's not as wide. So in this case, you might get some vignetting because this lens, the, the optic, is smaller than the glass on, you know, the optic on this lens. <clears throat> so keep that in mind. But if we were going to be using this smaller lens here, and, you know, this is a 58 millimeter, and this, again, is a 72, you know, 72 to 77 step up, this is a 58 to 77 step up because your coupling ring is 77 millimeters. So the back side of the step up ring, see, see how some of them, you know, as well, it's, you may not 
get the full view. So keep that in mind when you're choosing your lens setup. Because there are some lenses, like a lot of these Samyang lenses, they're, they're pretty much about the same size, the 77 millimeter. Um, so keep that in mind. And I just did the wrong thing where I set this lens down on the, uh, the rear side. And sometimes the glass may protrude past some of that. So the threads, you know, one side to the other, and with the other lens, mates up. So I'm going to put the step up ring first on the lens. Just, just snug. It doesn't have to be tight. You don't want it tight. And then I'm going to go with the, the other ring. And you want to start with the heaviest lens. So in this case, I started with the 105. Okay, and then I'm going to hold, put my finger on that so that doesn't spin. I'm going to mount the 58, the 58 to the 77. Just barely snug. And then I can mount that lens to it. Okay, so in this case, indicator mark, the dot, counterclockwise, infinity, infinity, take your rear lens cap off, and change that infinity, and I'm going to make sure that the aperture is 1.4 here, it's the lowest here. There you go. Macro coupling setup. please if you're returning this equipment and some of these rings are stuck um, probably the main thing to do is to get the lenses off if you can but if there's something that's stuck just just try and wrap it up nicely so that it's not going to get scratched or anything and ship it back um, and I'll, I'll do my best to, to get it apart but uh, typically you want to make sure that you get get the filters back on your lenses if they were shipped out with filters. Get your lens caps on. Sometimes it's difficult to get those threads to engage correctly, so just back it off and try again. It'll go nice and smooth if it's, everything's fine. And again, if you can't get these apart, just send them back. Don't, don't try to mess with them. But uh, sometimes it's easier to hold them from the inside and then hold one from the outside and turn it. Thanks for watching.